I quit my job basically, and uh, when I finished the manuscript, I started to submit it to publishers, both large and small, black and white, and gay and straight. And the manuscript was summarily rejected by every publisher that I had sent it to. So I self published it and started peddling it wherever people were in beauty shops, barber shops, uh, sorority uh, conventions, black expos, and what have you. And that's kind of how the, the whole thing got started. I just think that's a brilliant, you know, strategy. Go to where the women are, the women who read and all that, and get people talking. One of our sales reps in that area heard about this amazing guy who was selling copies of his book in the back of his trunk of a car to um, all these uh, hairdressing establishments in um, Atlanta. Brought it to the attention of one of our then editors. I called him and I told him who I was and he said, you're John Grisham's publisher, aren't you? And I said, yes, we are. And he said, nothing would make me happier than to be working with John Grisham's publisher because that's what I want to be. The same publishers who first rejected Harris were now offering him multiple book contracts and six-figure advances. R.I.P. E. Lynn Harris. But that's an ATL legend. Man, love comes at all shapes, sizes, and that dude right there knew how to write a story about love. Boy, I tell you what, he was an excellent storyteller. R.I.P. dude. What up, y'all? I'm Christopher Markland. Welcome back. Man, you heard everything that dude Elin Harris just said. Beauty shops, barber shops, conventions, sorority houses, expos, you name it, out the trunk, that dude was moving units. And that's because he believed in his product and he put in the work. All right. That's what it's about. You have got to put in the work. These books that you write are not going to sell themselves. It's up to you to sell it. You got to do what you got to do to sell those books. You worked hard as hell to write it. What, you just going to have a sit on a shelf? No, you got to get out there and sell it. All right. And think about it. This dude was rejected multiple times by all of those big, you know, publishing houses, whatever. But guess what? He knew his talent. He knew his worth. He stayed at it. So my man knew that he had a good book. He knew that he had a good manuscript and he went to all those publishing houses, got rejected. But he kept at it and started selling because he knew he had a good product. Guess what? The key to that was he was selling. There are three parts, three parts to being a successful author. One, you got to write. You got to be a good writer. You got to have the manuscript. Two, you got to publish the book. That's the second part. You got to have a solidly published book. And three, you got to be an entrepreneur. Now, you have got to embrace the fact that you are an entrepreneur. All right. Books been written. Now you got to be a salesperson. Why? Because you are a business owner in the business of selling you. Elon Harris, he talked about that in that little clip that we just saw. This dude was doing everything that he possibly could. You know what I'm saying? He didn't just write the book for bragging rights. I'm sure you've ran into a couple people, maybe, I know I have, where they wrote the book just so they can brag about being a published author. They weren't even trying to sell it, or if they were trying to sell it, I don't know what the hell they were thinking and how they were marketing their book. No, you wrote the book because guess what if you don't put in the work to sell it what's the point selling the book is what it's all about all right guerrilla warfare you gotta go to war sales is war i'm a real estate agent that's what i do i sell houses but i'm also an author that's what i i am i love this thing all right so i have to sell my book now think about it you have to have sales goals even you are a business person this is what you do you got to have sales goals i'm gonna sell five books this week i'm gonna sell 10 books this this month i'm gonna sell 100 books this year whatever the case may be all right at the same time i'm gonna have mention my social media 50 times i'm gonna do 10 videos this month so that's what you have to do but wait a minute what, what you mean you don't have social media uh, what do you mean are are you still going to war to sell this book using the tactics of elon harris from 20 years ago is, is, is that what we're doing you're trying to sell them out the trunk no no you cannot fight today's battles using yesterday's techniques don't get me wrong yeah even though on battlefield 
back in the Civil War, they had horses. Today, you got to have horsepower. What that means is, is your book available in an ebook format? That's what people are using today. People have been trapped in the house with COVID-19. Is your book available on ebook? And then not just on Kindle. Remember, Kindle's not the only device out there. Is it on your iPhone, meaning is it in iTunes? Those are two different formats. That's what it takes to sell it. Audiobooks. Is your book in audiobook format? When people are going back to work, I used to drive trucks. That's actually how I got into the books in the first place, listening to Elon Harris's books as I'm driving down the road way back in the day. If the books weren't available in ebook format, I wouldn't have known nothing about it. Is your book available in ebook format? Is your book available uh, in audiobook format? Is your book available in ebook format? I mean, if you don't have the, the tools, if you don't have the equipment, if you don't have what it takes to go to war in order to sell your book in today's marketplace, you're going to fail. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right. So, Elin Harris, he put in the work. There's, I mean, the dude's a legend. Unfortunately, he passed away, but the dude's work still lives on. Is your work going to live on? Is it even out there for it to even take its first breath? I mean, in other words, is your book written? And more importantly, is your book published? And even more important than that, are you selling your book? Are you putting in the work? Let me know in the comment section. What are some of the things that you've done as a writer to sell your book? What tactics have you employed in order to get your book in the marketplace? Let me know. Once again, y'all, stay determined, keep writing. See y'all next time.